Let's get into this makeover. My front room has always just been a room, but now, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta warn me before you say stuff like that. I love that. This video is sponsored by The Home Depot. Let's get into it. This room has always kind of been wasted space for us. It's the first room you see when you walk in the door and it's very underwhelming. It's also where we do our business meetings. And yes. It's not that comfortable. It's not. So I really needed a home office and I had the perfect space for it. One of my favorite features about the Home Depot app is the store mode. It tells you exactly where in the store the item that you're looking for is. It's pretty cool. Like, I don't like to ask for help. It's just who I am. I definitely <laughs> don't ask for help at all. So please tell me where I need to go and how it works. Exactly, so <laughs> it tells you the aisle and then it tells you the bay number. So you can find the exact spot and throw it in the bag. Just looking like professionals. <laughs> the cabinets will serve as the bottom of the built-in. There actually will be a base that we're going to build quickly to help those sit up. Then there'll be a countertop, then there'll be bookshelves. The plan is to assemble these bases for the cabinets to sit on. That will make my cabinets, I got 12 inch cabinets. Um, the base is 18. So I'll put like little stoppers in the back to fill up the space, but this base will help my cabinet sit up so that my countertop actually clears this and I don't have to remove any of my trim because I didn't want to remove it. The base assembly was super easy. Basically just took some two by fours and some scrap plywood that was sitting in the garage and attached them. We used two inch screws to connect the plywood to the two by fours. At this point, we have a system now. I drilled the pilot holes and then Kat comes in behind me and screws in the screws. So I am more of a, I like plans. I like to know exactly what I need to do person. Danette? I like to wing it, but the tape also helps us visualize what we're about to mess up. Uh <laughs> To install the countertop, I'm actually putting these spacers in there so that there's a contact point. And then I will use liquid nails and screws and whatever else my heart desires to attach the countertop. Because I don't have plans to use this as a desk, I really just wanted a surface top. Not really a countertop, nothing too crazy, just somewhere to put the cricket. Exactly. All right. <laughs> This is why I didn't want to use liquid nails. Wait, what did those liquid nails do to you? <laughs> Listen, so because of the length of this back wall, I had to use a sheet of plywood and then some extra, it wasn't just one cut. And just trying to maneuver it, I needed to be able to pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down. <laughs> liquid nails does not allow that. So you just screwed it in? Yeah, so I just screwed in from the bottom. I tried to make sure I was hitting the points where I put the little blocks of wood in so it actually attached to something and yeah. Pretty easy. Okay. One down. So one thing to consider, if this is gonna block your outlets and you don't wanna lose them, you'll want to either cut holes to accommodate them. Um, I don't know if you can see, but at the bottom, we kind of drilled a hole in the bottom of the base and ran a, what is that called? It's not an extension cord. Power outlet? Mm -mm. A power outlet bar <laughs> <laughs> through the bottom. So no actual electric work needed. We just plugged it in and ran it through. Y'all know I had to show up just in time for the building portion of this. <laughs> <laughs> Kat bought this Craig Jig 720 Pro and oh, life changer. Oh my god! It made pocket holes so much easier. I was like, I'm just gonna play with this while I'm here. I'll do the pocket <laughs> holes. <laughs> Nobody ever volunteers for pocket holes until you get that. So a project ain't a project until we call our dad. <laughs> I really don't know why he still answers my phone calls, but um, he helps me get the bookshelves that we built onto the cabinet tops and really position them and get them ready to attach to the wall. Y'all, look at this. Oh, it's so good. So what I'm gonna do is pilot and then connect the two. Um, you'll just wanna make sure you use a screw size that doesn't go through. So this is 
two three quarter inches I have an inch and a half you could probably go inch and a quarter to be safe but This built-in happened so much faster than mine did, and it was so much easier to do. But when you once you put the trim on there, it's like, it starts coming together. Like, that's my favorite part. I really love how you made your built-in custom, but without working from scratch. Like, I took a month to build mine because I needed everything to be a perfect size. But you made it work exactly how you wanted it mm -hmm. without doing all of the work. That's literally, like, I love DIY because you do what you want. If you want to do it from scratch, do it from scratch. If you want to, you know, start with a box cake, do that. It still tastes <laughs> good. <laughs> the trim work was easy. The crown molding, I don't want to talk about. Ever. What'd you end up doing? I wrote a check. <laughs> Because wood kind of absorbs paint differently, I made sure I primed the cabinets um, before we took our sprayers to it. I'm a competitor. Oh my gosh, <laughs> always. So everything I do is going to be erased. And with these sprayers, there's different, like the nozzle has different settings. Mm -hmm. And I think Kat had hers on the small setting because I was yeah. beasting. <laughs> like I literally realized an hour into it, I was like, your nozzle's spraying wider. And that's how she was winning, so. But these spray, these spray painters, spray guns are amazing mm -hmm. for spaces like this. If you don't have furniture or anything in there, it is so much easier to just knock out the entire Seriously. room. The prep sprayers. work is a little rough, but the sprayers itself really make up the time and you just wanna make sure you mask up for this because the fumes can be intense. Yes, we had to open the window, which we should have done from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's a little bubble right there. Oh, are we dancing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The painting is done, it looks so good, and this is where I clock out on this project. It's time to shop, y'all. I'm ready. <laughs> so the Home Depot app is awesome because it lets you make lists. Um, when I go to the store, I need direction because otherwise I'm in every aisle. But you can type in what you're looking for and then you just click the little heart and it adds it to your list. The list also serves as like a mood board. If you scroll through your list and things just aren't looking right in there, you kind of know you can eliminate from that from your list. Let me tell you, once you see that price at the bottom, you'll start eliminating things immediately. <laughs> <laughs> or add them in if you still got money to spare. But that's the best part, like seeing exactly how much it's gonna cost and how much you have to play within your budget, that really helps in the shopping portion. It does. I called my electrician to help me get my favorite part about this room of this chandelier. It just, roll out the red carpet. <laughs> this was literally the first thing I bought for this room. I bought it months ago. It's been sitting in the corner and I based this entire room off of this rug. And it was a good choice because Thank oh you. my God, it sets it off. It just, it added so many different colors. It just made it pop. It, I, I love this rug. Thank you, Home Depot. <laughs> Y'all, this desk is <laughs> massive. I mean, it took like four people just to get the boxes into the house. I've also been buying like little shelf decor for months. These bookends came from Home Depot also, and they're super cute. They're like doing yoga. I don't know. <laughs> it's just the small things, and you have so many shelves. So many shelves. So I just think it's a great opportunity to just like show your personality, show some family pictures. A record player, I just, I had to have it, but. Oh, look! It looks so oh my good. gosh. Uh, it's just, uh, every part of this room, there's so many different nooks and crannies that I just love every corner of this room. And my little water cart, I can't wait to have guests. Welcome to the office. Hey. 
The capabilities of the Home Depot app made this project so much easier for us to work on. It was less intimidating and we had all of the steps we needed. It's so easy to download. Just go to wherever you download your apps and it'll be there. When you first download the app, it even gives you a tour of all the capabilities. I'm talking augmented reality. It shows you the store locator, of course, as well as showing you lists and different project calculators. Y'all just get the app. Just get it. And thank you to our friends at the Home Depot for sponsoring this project. We couldn't do it without you. And thank you, Daddy, for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> As always, make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video. And for all of our behind the scenes action, make sure you follow us on Instagram at Material Curls. Bye. Bye.